Hello, everybody. Good How morning. Lovely. How are you all? This is, guess what? It's Thursday morning, and that means Thursday Thoughts with Merle and Patty. Yay. And She's Merle. I'm Patty. And, and we think. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah. Um, so, yes, formerly known as Monday Mornings with Merle and Patty, but we moved to Thursday, so we had to change the name. But we talk about all things relationship for a few yes. minutes every Thursday morning. Yes. So what are we going to talk about today, Merle? I'm going to tell you what we're going to talk about today, because what we're going to talk about are three things to look out for. Is three a magic number? Three is a magic number. So that's why. Three things to look out for in your relationship when uh, social restrictions ease up. So that we finally adjusted to being home and stuck together and we've either haven't made it and phew, there's going to be, there are going to be some divorces. We already know that. But a lot of, a lot of us have uh, used that time to get a little bit closer. And um, so, th so that's, that's good. But then what? Then now things are easing up. It's a whole new thing to adjust to. I just got used to the one. Now I got to get used to how, how, do we, how do we be in relationship right. with the easing? So that's right. my question. That's a good question. So yeah, we're going to, and we're going to look at that both people who are coupled and been coupled and then those who are single and now able to actually maybe meet someone again. Right. Because um, they're, they're probably more anxious than us. Than <laughs> us stuck together. <laughs> no, but honestly, I, we're one of those that Carrie and I, um, we've, we've really made the best of it. We've gotten very much closer, had more fun, become, just had more fun together than we have in a long time. So um, I hadn't thought about it, but somebody said to me the other day going, um, are you worried about when quarantine stops and and that you know Carrie will want to hold on to you because I'm not a home girl I'm I'm home maybe one night a week ever that's just what I like I'm out I'm out doing things and now I'm home seven days a week and, and she was concerned that he'd gotten so used to this that be going okay bye bye that would be uh, an issue I don't think it's going to be an issue but I guess it really could be for some what do you think I um. I think you're not going to be out as fast as as you think because it's a gradual opening. Yes. And uh, for instance, with Cloak and Dagger has closed the place. Some places will close uh, a lot. I mean, like for good. And some will be very. Um, because what did, I heard somebody, um, and maybe it was on television this morning, that said nobody wants to be, or maybe it was <laughs> Sebastian, somebody said nobody wants to be the first one. And so I, I think that's going to be true with nightclubs and all, all different kinds of social activities, um, restaurants, a, 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 any kind of version of restaurant, nightclub, getting together. Um, I, I think restaurants are killer because, you, I mean, you can wear your mask to watch a, a baseball game, but you can't uh, wear your mask to <laughs> eat lunch. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's so hard trying to stuff it up. <laughs> uh, yeah, and a lot of restaurants are opening, not in L.A. County proper, but in Orange County. I know a lot of restaurants are open, I think, in West Hollywood. Uh, place have started to open up so it's it's happening even in our you know slower moving california for this stuff but it's slow moving so i don't know if you'll be able to be out every night yeah no I, and I, who knows maybe i don't want to be out every night maybe staying home a little bit more is fun well you'll see, you'll see. i will see <laughs> so I mean, again i guess that's one thing to watch out for i guess it'd be like dependency or uh, i don't know you had a good word for it yeah. <laughs> We've lost it. 
Exactly. <laughs> if it's it a word really you got from word. me, you better yeah. remember it. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good one, though. <laughs> I think. Um, I I I, th I think opening is is is. I mean, they talk about the new normal. I I think normal is going to be. Um, like like a, a video rather than a snapshot. So it's just gonna be changing and changing and changing as, as we move forward. Uh, so it's pointless to have two great expectations because who knows. Um, but you know, as I said. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll ignore it. <laughs> I don't hear home. anything. I don't know about. I don't hear anything. <laughs> the phone ringing drowns out the cat crying in the background. I love thinking. This is studio. real live. This is live. This is what it is. Perfectly yeah. controlled. <laughs> and I don't know how to turn that off. I'm just, just listening to my husband's voice on the answering machine. And. Huh, somebody hang up because it's probably a sales call and there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, sorry about that. Interruption, cut, repair, go. The other thing, roll. the other issue that there could be uh, um is that as as we move out into the world that we have a different idea. Each partner has a different idea of what's a good idea. Some some people are really just they're going crazy. They can't wear a mask. I, you know, it's a matter of freedom. Uh, I, these are people that must not stop at stoplights because it's a matter of freedom. <laughs> uh, right, right. But, and so, and sometimes you're married to one of those. So you got to kind of play a little bit. If you, you're dedicated to wearing a mask, go go to outside events go to the park do those kinds of things with them and uh you know everything everything in a couple is negotiation everything is a little bit of compromise a little bit of sometimes uh he or she gets the 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 winning role and sometimes you do so I always tell the story about when Nathan and I first got married and, and um, needed luggage. And, and so we went together. This is one of our things. Oh, uh -huh, we're married now or whatever. And we're going to get luggage together. And he says this. And I said, oh. And I said, how about this? He says, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and we, we ended up with luggage that we both could stand, but neither was crazy about. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a good example though, that, it, you know, it, it, well, at least it wasn't a love, hate, love, hate on both sides that you weren't and, and, and you have a great story out of it. Yeah, you know? <laughs> but if we're talking about stuff like somebody is more willing to get out there or not wear a mask or be more social than the other partner, that's taking a different than luggage. That's like health fears and personal safety fears. So that's going to take some grown up conversation. I agree. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. And maybe, you know, uh, um, <coughs> not being attached at the hip, sometimes one or the other wants to go out on their own. And maybe that would be a good time for them to go out on their own. Anyway, so those are my thoughts. How about how about three things for uh, singles? Uh, yeah, that one's even tougher uh, again because at least with your partner that you're living with or in a relationship with, you know. And if you're you know, meeting people, I know there is. You had mentioned online, I, and I know just watching television, things like Match and all those big companies are are reinventing themselves to be very much to really get to know somebody just like this online. I guess it's a really good start. Well, yes, and, and by the time you want to go see each other, you know, physically, <laughs> that's a good word, physically, mm -hmm. um, 
Uh, so I heard suggested that you each get tested mm -hmm. together. Right. Yeah. Before testing meant something else. Now it means <laughs> COVID-19. <laughs> yeah. COVID yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, if you want to get, um, I know a friend of ours that, that we walk with said that is dating someone through that and they got tested together so they can, they don't live together, but they're both sequestering, they're both quarantining of equal belief system so that they both feel safe with each other to be maskless. <laughs> yes, I think, I, and I think that leads to actually the last uh, of the three things to do, it, and that is small steps. Don't make big commitments, little steps. Try a little, how, how do we work together with this? How do we work together with that? And uh, it's 11-11. It's 1111. It's the magic numbers. It's the angel numbers. It's the make a wish number. Ooh, what do we want to make a wish for today? A smooth transition. Smooth transition. Again, looking at every new day, the unknown, embracing the unknown, embracing living in the moment in some ways, being prepared versus fearing the unknown anyway. Was that too complicated? No, it's exactly on. It's exactly on point. Your cat is saying, "You're absolutely right." Yes, my cat <laughs> is saying, "I'm absolutely right." All right, so everybody, take a deep breath. Close your eyes. Open your eyes. Whatever you're comfortable with. Exhale. Just again for a moment. See things changing around you. We've kind of gotten used to this funny way of living and then the living is going to change. The, what is the normal? We don't know the normal, the new normal, the old normal. Normal, what does that even mean? <laughs> so just see things opening up. Maybe you just want to do it symbolically, like a door opening up, a window opening up, perception opening up, opportunities opening up, and see yourself stepping through. And creating it to be what you want it to be, what you need it to be. Whether it's relationship that you're in now, whether it's creating new, finding new relationships, whether it's going back to work for so many people getting ready to go back into that work relationship. Just see a door opening and see the light coming in and see yourself smiling and see people smiling around you. Embracing the unknown. and a beautiful path in front of you. Another breathe in, exhale, one more. Take in all this new possibility of the new world we're creating and exhale. And there we go, open your eyes. We've opened doors. Perfect. I think uh, I think that uh, little ritual today was perfectly on target. Perfect. So we let everybody go. Open your doors. Open your windows. <laughs> yeah, it was great. Um, so and my kitty came back. My poor kitty. His sister passed away this week. So anybody, the the, the crazy crying cat in the background is not being tortured. He's just looking for his sister. Aww. Uh, but again, life changes. It is what we make of it. So um, do come back next Thursday at 11 a.m. Pacific. Oh, my two birds are feeding their baby birds right above. Ah, oh, life goes on. You know, life passes, life goes on. Um, come back in just a few minutes at noon Pacific, 3 Eastern for Merle's Pearls. What are people talking about at Merle's Pearls, Merle? I'm talking about... Bigger is not always better. Sometimes it's the little things, the little steps that you take that have a momentous effect on your relationship. That's it. I like that. So again, right here, Facebook Live, Merle's Pearls on the hour of the next hour coming in.
Come back next week. Please buy our books, like us, follow us, tweet us, Instagram us, Facebook us. Got your book, Merle? Uh, yes, I do. I have my book. <laughs> Every week we try to remember to do this and we and or to have it out. So both available on Amazon and they're both fabulous. <laughs> True. <laughs> Put them in your library. <laughs> okay. Um, I think we said it all. We've solved all the problems of the world again today in a few minutes. We did it again. <laughs> have a beautiful day. Blessings to everybody. Thank you. Thank Bye you, Merle, for being such a friend and such a source of wisdom. <laughs>